Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Conley McCaskill. I am new here on YouTube. Tonight we are doing a question and answer with my husband Mitch that y'all have not met. This is Mitch. Um, I put polls up on Instagram and Facebook where y'all ask the questions. Neither of us have read them. So we're going in blind. Right. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. We're just going to go in and read these. Does Mitch ever eat healthy and work out with you? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. No. Oh, this is a good one. What advice do you have for the first year of marriage? Is that for me or you? It doesn't say, so let's see what you have to say. Mm, you go first. Grin and bear it. Do the best you can. The first year of our marriage was hard. We had a baby in our first year of marriage. and. We'd only been dating four months, so we had a lot of getting to know each other to do. Then you throw a sweet baby in the mix, and, and we were young, 22 and 23, and we had no idea what we were doing, um, and it was hard, but here we are, five years later. Couldn't agree more. That's your answer? That's my answer. Take it. We're going to bear it. <laughs> uh, now, this person... Okay, what was the biggest fight y'all ever had and how did you overcome it? Well, there are so many to choose from. <laughs> okay. What was the biggest fight y'all ever had and how did you overcome it? I don't remember the biggest fight. Okay. Okay. But I travel a lot, so... I just went somewhere and it was better when I came back. I have to disagree. I think our biggest argument... And yeah, you remember a lot better than me, so... Well, I just remember telling him that I freaking hated his guts. And I don't know that I've ever said that since. But... Um, it was our probably our first year of marriage and... Um, I had really bad postpartum anxiety, so I was, I, I am OCD, but it was a lot worse. And um, he had never changed baby diapers before, and um, he had never changed a poo diaper before, and Branton had poop, and um, I had come back from getting dressed or something, and she ended up having gotten diaper rash. Now, I don't know if he did. Did you know she had poop? Do you remember? I don't, I don't remember this. I'm sure it happened. I just don't remember. I do. And she was like in her walker. But it was so potent when you walked up. And I was, I was obviously having a bad day. Because I took it from like not having changed a diaper. To like, I freaking hate you. You know, let's get a divorce. You know, whatever. Are you saying that's the worst thing you can say? That's, that's, that's have a divorce. It's not that bad anymore. What is that supposed to mean? Well, that's like the holy grail. I thought it was. What do you mean? Well, when people say that, they normally mean it. Oh. At least the first three years, I was just a chip playing the argument. We had a lot of getting to know each other to do, a lot of a lot of growing up to do on both parts. <coughs> And yeah. Okay. I don't remember that at all. Not that specific one. My BF, me and my BF are moving out west, and he might be moving three to four months before I can move out there before me. Any advice on how to get through those three or four months without fighting and actually improving our relationship? This will be the first time we've ever been away from each other. And we've been together for a year, and I think we've been apart three to four times, which was only for one night when we first started dating. So I'm a little nervous. So I'd like to hear from each of you what you need from you or your partner when y'all are away from each other to keep that spark and relationship going. A couple phone calls a day. Just check in. You gotta get your dinner, come back to the hotel or wherever you're moving, and it's not that hard. Don't do nothing wrong. I have to agree. I think that 
I don't really think that fighting in three or four months, when at least when he's gone, what do we have to fight about? Um, you know, because it is just maybe two phone calls a day. Three or four being he calls me and I don't answer. I call him and he doesn't answer. So we maybe talk once or twice a day. So really, what is there to fight about? Um, as far as... I don't know how you could improve a relationship uh, except for maybe building trust. If, if you don't have trust in a distant relationship, then you might as, work. might as well kiss that goodbye. Um, to keep the spark going, take pictures in your lingerie and send it to your man. Does that keep the spark going? Keep it going. <laughs> How, well, how did Mitch take you telling him you're an addict? I see he sometimes drinks. Does that bother you at first? I'm sure now you're used to it, but at first was it hard? I didn't really have to tell Mitch that I drank too much. He got to see that firsthand when we started dating. I would literally turn a bottle of tequila up with him until the bottle bubbled. Cheers to that. The old Conley. Miss her. Him drinking doesn't bother me. I know that that's not... He can come home and, like, have a beer just to relax, and he can, like, fall asleep in the chair. Like, it's just, like, a beer to him. To me, it, I, that's, like, a waste of calories and, like, a waste of time. I don't count calories, though. This is true. But, um, no, it, 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 it never bothered me. Once I stopped, I have never, I have never turned back. Yeah. <sighs> He's full of it. All right, let's go back to these other ones. That was... She sent me those in a message. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Struggle buzz. Here we are. All right. Oh. What got you into free weight fitness? Oh, that was for you. <laughs> All right. I, I guess by free weights, this person means... Um, I still do use machines, but not really. When you use a machine, the machine is obviously there to stabilize your body. So you're not really engaging um, your core to hold you steady. You're not really engaging several different muscle groups. Whereas when you do free weights, you know, you have to hold everything steady. You're tensing your abs, you're flexing your legs, you're doing all this. So it's really working you all over. And I don't really think anything got me into that. I, that's just always what I've preferred. Excuse I've heard. It's my fault. <laughs> <coughs> At the end of a workout, I will do a machine just to burn me out, to, to get me really tired, um, just to fatigue the muscle. I don't know how to look at this. We should have proofread this. Has you been being sober and Mitch still partaking in alcohol ever caused a conflict? I always have a DD. Um, me being sober, like, I don't, not a conflict as in, like, you can drink and I can't. Conflicts as in, like, why are you so drunk? Like, you're annoying me. That has happened. Or, like, when I'm having fun. Or he'll, like, lose track of time, like, at a wedding. <clears throat> this has happened before. He lost track of time and came home at, like, 2 o'clock instead of 12 o'clock. But it's fine. Over and done with. That kind of conflict, yeah. But me being like not not drinking and him drinking, no. It does not. Two people want to, me to ask you how we met. Pastime Pavilion. Middle school. What is Pastime Pavilion? It's a movie theater. It's, it's a pavilion. It's a movie theater. Okay, well, they might not know that. Well, it's a movie theater. When I think of a pavilion, I think of Myrtle Beach, like amusement park, the pavilion. No, it's not that. It's a movie theater. Okay, how old were we? Well, I was between, I was 13-ish. Uh-huh. you were what, 11, 12-ish? Ooh, that's not bad. I was like 12. Okay, that sounds better. How did we meet back up? Mm. Oh. Don't say names. Oh. 
I don't know the name of the restaurant, but it was a buddy's graduation party. It wasn't a restaurant, it was a bar. Uh, it was a bar. They served food. We went to eat before that. Pearls. Well, Pearls is a restaurant. I forgot about that. <laughs> Y'all, he remembers like the first song we slow danced to and all this stuff. Kid Rock. And seeing I don't, I'm like Blue I'm, Jeans and Rosary. See, I wouldn't even know that if I heard it. I was drunk at some honky tonk bar. Smoking marble reds and drinking Budweiser. <clears throat> oh, oh. <gasps> Mitchell. Mm. Is there another baby in our future? Not mine. <laughs> Not in mine. Unless God has like a serious plan. Because if we were to get pregnant. No. Um, there's no way. Okay. It's not. We're pro life, but no, we don't we don't we're we're good. We don't we don't want it anymore. Nope. We're good. This is for both of us. What is our favorite thing about each other? <laughs> well you go first. Nope. Hmm, that's a double-edged sword. I would say your strong will. Oh. Well, that backfires on me sometimes. Maybe I misinterpret it for hard-headedness or stubbornness. That's what. It's a double-edged sword. Okay. What else? There's one thing. <laughs> Not favorite things. I favorite guess. thing. Yes. My favorite thing is your hard work ethic. Oh, well, thank you. But that's not like why I love you. Like, but I guess that wasn't the question. Mitch is also like super laid back. And like, while that gets on my nerves, because if I say, like, could you please do this? I mean, like, like, could you do it like right now? Not like next week or like five minutes from now. I kind of mean like right now. But he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. And he probably will by the end of the day. But it's like, so, I, I need a little bit more of him, his laid backness, and he needs a little bit more of my get get your stuff I done. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need that at all. Okay. You have OCD mixed with ADD. That's yeah. a tough person to live with sometimes. I'll, and we'll answer this one, but I'm going to have to pull something up on my phone to we'll answer the next We'll answer the next one first. Okay. Oh, what do each of you spend the most money on? It'll be nice to hear what y'all think each other's is. Mm -hmm. So am I supposed to, an okay. Oh, never mind. Okay, so you, an you answer what you. Well, I think you spend the most money on, like for yourself. Yeah, and then and you answer what you think I spend the most money on. I'll answer what I think you spend the most money on, and then we'll tell each other what it actually is. You know mine. I don't spend money on nothing. This is true. Except those two things. Beer and cigarettes. Spot on. What do you think I spend the most money on? Clo uh, workout clothes. No. And stuff for the kids. Yeah. What is it? I'm asking what you spend on, you know, how much you, for yourself. For myself, just... I've actually quit buying a lot of workout attire because I got a good stash. So just like these jeans are new, like um, comfy mom clothes. Like he told me today he liked me better in these jeans and I had a t-shirt on than like getting all done up. He said I actually look normal today. So I guess just on like mom clothes. T-shirt, blue jeans, and a messy bun. Yeah, you don't like my top knot? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you even fashion? He fashions. What is each other's love language? Now, we're, you probably don't know what that is, so we're going to, it's a book, but we're going to I've pull, heard of this. I know, from your mom. So we're going to pull up, there are five love languages. Oh, and there's a quiz. Uh, maybe Perfect. we should take the quiz. It's not. Maybe we should take it. Not on here. <laughs> this is taking forever. 
learn your love language for yourself or your child. I am in a relationship. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't like want them to email me. So let's just see like what they are. Here's your ADD. What? Just look up what the different ones are. The different. I, I I I thought I was. I know ones of like are like gifts of affirmation. Here we go. Hold, please. You can just edit this part out. Okay. What what is this? Well, I know one is like gifts of affirmation, or I don't know. Do you know the five love? Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Do you know the five love languages? Here they are. One, words of affirmation, using words to build up the other person. Thanks for taking out the garbage. Not. It's about time you took the garbage out. The flies were going to carry it out for you. Two, mm -hmm. gifts. A <clears throat> gift says, he was thinking of me. Look what he got for me. Three, acts of service. Doing something for your spouse that you know they would like. Cooking a meal, washing dishes, vacuuming floors are all acts of service. I'm a freaking servant. Quality time. I won't do it right. By which I mean giving your spouse your undivided attention. By taking a walk together or sitting on the couch with the TV off, talking and listening. That's called quality time. Physical touch, holding hands, kissing, sexual intercourse are all expressions of love. Out of each of the five, each of us has a primary love language which speaks more deeply to you than the others. Discovering each other's love language and speaking it regularly is the best way to keep love alive in a marriage. You're probably physical touch as far as sex yeah. and words for affirmation. Like, thanks for working so hard today, honey. Because. No, I feel like a fish for a compliment. Oh. Okay, well, we don't really buy each other gifts often. True story. I do acts of service. But, like, I, I'm supposed to say what my love language is, like, what I like the most. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I like physical touch. Like, I like to hold hands and hug and kiss, but I also like quality time. And be left alone at the same time. Right. I like a prize. I like, like, they today. Six months. Today I walked in the den and he cleaned up all the baby's toys and I was like, <laughs> Mitchell. The sixth one is mind reading mind reading yeah that's it that's yours so what is yours my love language is all of them i like words of affirmation like oh your hiney looks nice like you know noting my hard work in the gym or something that's a word of affirmation like i like to be noticed what well, compliment that i know so I, I was gonna say not all of them, but yeah, all of them are mine. So what's yours? J just the sex one, I guess. I mean, I'll but you don't like to be cuddled, no. or hold hands, yeah. or kiss. Well, you like no. to kiss. You don't like to hug. I mean, you kind of like to hug. Mm. He also likes. He likes quality time. He likes sitting together and talking. And listening yeah. to like podcasts and listening to music and just like hanging out on the back porch. Even though we can't agree on nothing to listen to, she That's what you gets like her to teeth do. and bears through it. I just like the first year of marriage. I, yeah, I try to. Alright, hold on. I've got questions <clears throat> all over the place, you guys. You guys. That is not... Nope. Okay. Nope. 
How many week, how many times a week do you try to have relations? Oh, when I'm home? I guess. <laughs> At least once in a 24 hour period. This is true story. My family's gonna love watching this, by the way. Who's the one to initiate things? So I guess like fights, sex, going places. Going places is definitely 100% you. Okay. Other two, that's probably 50 50. Okay. How do you maintain trust or security when he's out of town? Which is all the time. I think it's just neither of us have ever violated the other's trust. So, I mean, like, if, if he were to have ever cheated on me, I obviously wouldn't. I mean, he's the breadwinner in our family, so I like what, what can I do? He has to travel. That's his job. But if he had cheated on me, I obviously wouldn't be cool with talking once a day and like, I mean, you know what I mean? And I'm sure he obviously, if I had cheated on him, wouldn't be cool with me staying at home for weeks on end. No. <laughs> Not in the house I pay for. Right. So, yeah. I well, I'll get caught. That ain't a point of me trying. This, this is true. Oh, I end up telling on myself. Okay, how long have we been filming? 22 minutes. So we're probably going to just cut these off because I think that was, I think that was probably enough. If this video is something that you like, please give it a thumbs up. This shirt is <coughs> super annoying. If this is a video that you liked, please give it a thumbs up, um, which is liking. Subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments you want to leave, comment down below. Um, and if you would like us to do another, Okay. Just a love this. <laughs> He's having a great time, aren't you? Love it. And, and again, this is Mitch. It's my old ball and chain. That's me. Okay, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Please like and subscribe.